Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to get a flat look inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've gotten a lot of questions about this and I thought about trolling and then just importing flat footage and saying there you go, but I didn't do that. So here's something shot on my little DSLR. Uh, I was going to record it somewhere cool, but then I got lazy and ate a sandwich instead. So here, here's some playing guitar and of course Patreons get this footage and will maybe hear the shenanigans that are going on. But anyway, you can see this looks very DSLR with these really crunchy blacks and you see everything's all all over the place. So it's super easy to make this look flat. I normally just reach for the contrast control and bring it down, down, down. And there you go. Reduce the saturation some. You can of course, you know, do this to taste. Now this won't get you any dynamic range back really if we look at our waveforms are still clipping in the same spots. Maybe there's like a there's like a little bit you're getting back somehow. But you know, it's not it's not going to do you really any favors to do this unless that's the look you're looking for. That, or if you're using LUTs that are made for flat footage, like, you know, specific LUTs. So we've got the log versions of the house LUTs. We also have Rec. 709, so you don't need to do that. But if you got a LUT pack that didn't have a convenient Rec. 709 version, you can do this and do something, you know, whoa, crazy. Or, you know, <laughs> turn this back into cliche DSLR. Look at how cliche DSLR-y that looks. Should probably reduce the saturation a little bit more on this. There you go. Look at that. So just that simple. The LUT is not including the flat look. There's your flat look. It looks flat. It looks, I guess, more expensive than that. Yeah, it definitely looks more expensive than that. So if you want to make your stuff look flat, I know a lot of people do that because, I don't know, they do. It definitely, the good thing about flat looks is it hides uh, imperfections in skin and stuff a lot better. So girls like it because if you don't have as much contrast or saturation, you can't see as much. So, you know, bad skin looks like less bad skin, which is always nice, I guess. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want this footage or this let, go to the Mr. Media Patreon page. It is lots of fun over there. Also, special thanks to the patrons on the screen for their support for the videos. Always appreciate it. Lots of fun. And hope you enjoy all of the cool extra stuff you get. If you're not into Patreon, then be sure to still subscribe to Mr. Media because we've got all sorts of videos all the time. At least, you know, every Monday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Sometimes Sometimes more videos, but I try not to do less videos. So anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.